Hello everyone and welcome back to English with Lucy. Today I've got a spring in my step. It feels like spring is finally arriving. So today I have got five spring related idioms for you and I'm doing this in collaboration with Lingoda who have a fabulous new blog post all about these spring idioms. So if you want more information you can read that and also spring idioms in loads of other languages as well. Their blog is a really useful resource. I definitely recommend you to check it out. The link is in the description below and they've also given me a 50 euro discount from your first month's subscription at Lingoda. So it's 50 euros or $50 and the link for that is also in the description box. If you haven't seen my video reviewing Lingoda, then check the card up here. But it's basically an online language academy with loads of fantastic native teachers. You can go up entire CEFR levels really, really quickly, so i.e. B1 to B2. And the subscription packages include a combination of both private and group lessons. So definitely check that out in the description. Right, let's get started with the spring related idioms. Now, the first idiom is no spring chicken. And if you describe somebody as no spring chicken, it means that they are no longer young. It comes from when farmers could charge much higher prices for chickens born in the spring because they were fresher and they hadn't had to live through all the winter months. So it's not a particularly nice thing to say about somebody. If somebody described me as no spring chicken, I would be a little bit offended. Now the next one is the grass is always greener on the other side. And I actually included this in a video that I made about proverbs because it's quite a good one to live by. Um, but it's an expression that we say all the time, the grass is always greener, the grass is greener. The full version of this is the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. And it means your neighbor's grass always looks greener than your grass. So you always tend to envy what other people have and you don't actually appreciate how good what you have really is. So from your perspective, it might look like they have a perfect life, but once you change to their side of the fence, they might think that you have a perfect life. Now the next spring idiom is lovely. This one is a ray of sunshine. And this is a really lovely way of describing somebody who is like the sun. They make things grow, they make you feel happy, they're warm. It's just a really nice way of describing a warm, friendly, happy, positive person. So I would say that my mum is a ray of sunshine. She always makes me feel better and people just enjoy being around her. Now, number four is spring fever. <laughs> and spring fever is that feeling of restlessness just before summer when the weather is starting to get nicer, flowers are coming up, you want, to, you want to go outside and be active and you get a bit energetic. It doesn't just have to be used in spring though, it can be used to describe the feeling that you have in spring. I definitely get spring fever. Although I have met a few people that seem to get spring fatigue when they suddenly get really tired just before summer. But the idiom is spring fever. The final idiom, a really lovely one again, is to be full of the joys of spring. Spring is supposedly one of the most joyful months. There are lambs, flowers, you know, you're, it's a very quick and drastic shift from very cold, harsh weather to suddenly everything's sunny and green. So if somebody is a very happy and enthusiastic person, you can describe them as being full of the joys of spring. So if somebody is constantly happy, enthusiastic, positive, smiling, laughing, then they are full of the joys of spring. All right, guys, that's it for this lesson. Don't forget to head over to the Lingo de blog. And if you're interested in signing up for one of their subscription packages, then make sure you don't forget to use the discount. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Facebook and my Instagram, and I will see you soon for another lesson. Bye.